Stone Fist. Stone Fist is a good tank that you get early on in the game. He's magical, the tank type, and he's slow, so he's not going to go until the slow round. Uh, you know, going fast than the normal speed than the slow round characters. One of the nice things is that you can uh, you can farm for hero tokens for him. So he does start out at a one star, but it's pretty easy. There's a lot of levels that have uh, the availability to farm for him. You can see quite a few here so that you can get additional tokens and then build up his star level. He is the water water element type and in his name you can see he's magical. This is one of his traits as well. So he takes less damage from non-physical attacks which is great for a tank and he's going to be taking a lot of attacks generally. It's a little different than Yokozuna um, you're going to see Yokozuna is not magical. Uh, he takes a standard amount from attacks. He's actually not armored either, but he has a lot of health. And so Stone Fist here as well. You've got a lot of health, high defense, low attack, as you'd expect from a tank. And then also the cold resist and freeze resist that you'd expect from the water type. Another benefit for Stone Fist is this impervious. This is basically all the status effects, all the negative status effects that could affect him. He doesn't get affected by any of those, uh, and this is a really nice benefit, especially, for example, uh, Frozen is nice because you'd miss a whole turn, and then Diseased makes it so healing effects are cut in half, and for your tank, if you're if he's doing a taunt or something and he's pulling in all the attacks, you want to make sure you can keep him fully healed and that you're getting the full effect from those heals. So those are that's a nice additional benefit you get with him. Let's look at the abilities. He has his standard attack, uh, which is moderate to low base damage. Again, his his attack stat is fairly low as well. This Fist of Justice is a nice skill to have. Um, he does pretty decent damage with this at higher levels, especially on a single player. And it's a good one that you can use to finish off someone on the other team if you're doing uh, dungeon raids. Another benefit is that it lowers the attack and defense of the entire team, uh, which can have a huge beneficial effect. This is really nice for the uh, campaign mode. You get a lot of benefit out of it that way. Um, I don't use it as much for dungeon raiding. I mentioned in that one I really like Yokozuna and his dazed effect that he can put on the entire other team. That's it's really nice because it's hard for the other team to, um, if it's on, if you've got him as a defender, it's hard for the other team to plan out taking out your characters, so that um, as they're trying to take them one at a time, so they don't get to make it to their next attacking turn if they keep missing. So that's a nice benefit to have there. He also has taunt, and there's another benefit here is that it starts powered, and what that means is that you can use it right away on his very first turn. So a lot of times for the second and third skills after you ascend the character and they get their second or third skill they're going to have a cooldown as soon as they start uh, a dungeon or as soon as they start a dungeon in the campaign mode their first skill will be available right away but their second and third skills will usually have a cooldown that they start in so you can't use them right away but this one starts powered so you can use it right away which is a huge benefit again if you're doing especially uh, dungeon raiding because you can use that first turn and you want your your whole party to survive as long as possible. That taunt really helps out with that. If we look at his next ascension, see it would be difficult to do. We've got one of these, uh, a brawny evo, which is going to be difficult to get a hold of four of those. But even if you get it, this next skill is just a straightforward physical attack, which isn't all that helpful I mean, it's going to be a higher attack for him, which is nice. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but we'd probably rather have something that helps the rest of the team out. I mean, that's as a tank character, he's there trying to protect the rest of the team, and so we'd we'd rather have a skill that that helps out in that way. Uh, that's that's about it. There's pros and cons using him or Yokozuna, uh, both obviously water type, but here if you've got you're going up against magic based characters or a higher portion of the team that's magic based he's got a little benefit that way and then also I would say for uh, campaign mode because it's nice to have consistently lower attack and defense on the opposing team so that you get predictable 
attacks coming back in that you can then heal from. 